fun in a staycation this Labor Day weekend, there's an app for that. Destination El Paso recently launched an app to help visitors maneuver through the city. And as ABC 7's Stephanie Vias shows us, the app isn't just for travelers. It was great. It was a, a stroll through downtown El Paso with an enlightening twist, accompanied by Kimberly McCardin with Destination El Paso and the Visit El Paso app. We just wanted to showcase all the great assets that our city has to offer. The app helps you explore the Sun City with driving tours, bike tours, and walking tours. Even breaking down the sites depending on how much time you have to spend exploring. That content was actually generated by the members of those individual organizations. We worked with the El Paso Community Foundation and the El Paso Historical um, Commission to come up with this uh, brochure for the downtown walking tour. Which is what we used to check out the Plaza Theater, the Camino Real Hotel, and the Mills Building. The Mills Building was an audio recording of different points in the tour, just one of the apps. Another is Apple's FaceTime. If you say you're lost downtown, uh, during our regular operating hours, you have the opportunity to speak with one of our visitor information specialists downtown. Sure enough, a specialist was standing by. We're just testing out the app. I'm here with Stephanie Valle. Destination El Paso hopes the app helps everyone to get to know the city, visitors and natives alike. This is definitely a great tool for locals and a great way to show off the city and, you know, just kind of familiarize yourself with the city. What better time to do it than a three-day weekend? Stephanie Valle, ABC7. I've lived here for more than 16 years. I'm going to check it out. <laughs> we'll have one last look.